वेलकम टू एक्सचेंज सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ट्रबल शूटिंग कनेक्टिविटी इशूज ट्रबल शूटिंग क्लाइंट कनेक्टिविटी इशूज विद एक्सचेंज सर्वर कैन बी ए फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग एक्सपीरियंस इट कैन बिकम ए हेड एक फॉर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर वेन द क्लाइंट्स आर अनेबल टू कनेक्ट सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉमन क्लाइंट कनेक्टिविटी इशूज द नंबर वन इज प्रॉम फॉर क्रेडेंशियल्स वेन ए क्लाइंट सच एज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आउटलुक प्रॉम फॉर द क्रेडेंशियल्स देर कैन बी ए मैनी रीजन फॉर द स्पेसिफिक प्रॉम इट कैन बी ए लॉक्ड यूजर अकाउंट करप्टेड यूजर प्रोफाइल्स थर्ड पार्टी एडेंस कैश क्रेडेंशियल्स इनकरेक्ट प्रोफाइल सिक्योरिटी सेटिंग्स एंड इनकरेक्ट कनेक्शन टाइप ऑल कैन कॉज द क्रेडेंशियल प्रॉम वन ऑफ द मोर कॉमन कॉजेज फॉर द क्रेडेंशियल प्रॉम अकर्स वेन द क्लाइंट मेक एच टी टी पी कनेक्शन टू वेरियस एक्सचेंज सर्वर सर्विसेस टू डिटरमाइन वेदर द मेल बॉक्स कनेक्शन और एच टी टी पी ट्रैफिक सेंड बाय द क्लाइंट इज कॉजिंग द क्रेडेंशियल प्रॉम You can launch the Microsoft Outlook and cancel any credential prompt if Microsoft Outlook shows the client as connected regardless of ignored request for the credential you should verify that windows authentication is set to true on all IIS virtual directories associated with the client access components another one is certificate errors when a client displays a certificate error the cause typically is because of an untrusted or invalid certificate that is configured in the exchange server if you deploy a client access services behind a network load balancer you should verify the status of certificates that you have configured on the network load balancer device and if the client does not trust the certificate ensure is untrusted by a client you should ensure that the root certificate of the certificate authority that issued the certificate is in the trusted root and if a client reports that a certificate has expired or it's not yet valid you should verify the validity dates of the certificate configured in the exchange server and if it is necessary you can obtain a new certificate and if you get the error like uh, certificate error name mismatch you should verify that the url value that the auto discover process is retrieving for the various client access services are all present on the certificate that you have assigned to exchange services and if the certificate does not contain a correct url you must obtain a new certificate or ensure that the url value are configured correctly on each of the iis virtual directory associated with the client access services next one is client disconnects If a client fails to connect to exchange server at a startup or while it is running you should try repairing or recreating the outlook profile and disabling third party addons in outlook if these work around does not resolve the issue use the outlook connection status dialog box in microsoft outlook to determine the protocol that the client is using to connect and in most cases this will be a mappy http or rpc http let me show you As you can see that we are connected with the jack at techiejack.live this is a user mailbox of the jack and if you see the outlook icon here you can press the control button and right click on here and see the connection status you can see the smtp address is jack at techiejack.live server name is mail.techiejack.live connection is established and the protocol is http and it is encrypted the next one is offline address book download issues in order to troubleshoot the oab download issues you should identify the oab download url retrieved by auto discover or not you can check your virtual directories and you can see the url of the offline address book and check it is detected on the auto discover or not and the next is auto discover issues if auto discover is not functioning correctly you might need to configure outlook manually and also you can check on the internal outlook client you can test the auto discover by opening outlook let me show you that as well so again we will go here in the outlook icon in the notification area and we'll do the right click and you can see the test email auto configuration and i will type the name as a jack at techiejack.live and the password for the user and we'll see the test auto configuration found the following setting you can see the internal and external oa urls it has retrieved the correct url for the mappy and the server name is correct ssl is yes authentication is mutual authentication you can check that all the virtual directories urls are retrieved by the auto discover or not and here it is the xml view of this so this way you can test it so whenever you are troubleshooting the client connectivity issues you should include the following guidelines identify the scope of the problem gather the available information like what error messages the affected users are getting use the database troubleshooting guidelines we have already discussed that 
you can verify client connectivity with Microsoft Remote Connectivity Analyzer or Microsoft Connectivity Analyzer tool. You can use the test commandlets. You can analyze your network infrastructure. And finally, you can analyze your Windows firewall configuration. Let's see what are the commandlet we can use to test the connectivity. So right now we are on our exchange server and this is our exchange management shell. And if I type this commandlet test outlook connectivity probe identity outlook mappy http dot protocol backslash outlook mappy http self test probe. And if I hit enter, it will show you the result of the outlook connectivity. If you see the result, you can see the outlook connectivity. The result is succeeded and it seems to be working fine. There are other tests as well. So if I go to the docs.microsoft.com, you can see the test calendar connectivity, client access, ECP, IMAP, Outlook Web Services, OWA, POP, PowerShell and Web Services. From here, you can test all these services. I hope you got it now how you can troubleshoot the connectivity issues. So let's meet in the next video.